Right, hello and welcome. Today I'll be playing Vanished with the Colonial Charters mod. I've played it once before. Um, my village, I guess. Didn't last very long. Everyone starved to death, naturally. Uh, Folkestone, that's a good name. Um, I guess we'll do Lake Water is very large. I'll doubt I'll use it all. And I actually like Medium Plus because I don't quite like... Um, starting with six people and all the extra supplies and the homes and all that but I do like having livestock right away all right let's jump right in your country has rested all of their colonial ambitions on your venture your job is to ensure the survival of your country's citizens well we'll see if they starve to death this time hopefully not uh yeah so I looked before there's a lot new there's a lot of more production chains um, it's certainly interesting. I think it'll add some more depth, which is something that I personally enjoy. Um, I had, didn't get to experience too much of it last time, as everyone starved to death. I think it was year six or so. Ah, perfect. Alright, so. We're starting with some llamas. That's nice and lovely. Let's go ahead and get situated here. Uh, oh wow, so we're starting next to this large lake, and there's another very large, extremely huge lake up here, and then the third lake down over here. Interesting. And yeah, the trader will go along this route here. Okay, quite like the starting area. Right, let's get the stats up here. I like to have the event log down here. Put it there so I can see my frame rate. And of course the professionalist of which there are many. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing everyone's gonna need are some homes. Uh, while there are some really nice uh, homes that are added, I like to just start out with the normal wooden houses. And there we go. It's down. I should only need that many to start because I believe it's five families. Go ahead and get a dirt road going down. Might as well bring it all the way out over to here because the very next thing that I'm going to build will be, where is it, the fishery, food, fishing dock. Yes. This is really not that great of a place to try. Right here looks good. And let's connect it with the road. It's not the most crucial. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is lots of builders get going. Is that the llamas? Wow. Okay. So let's speed everything up. Yep, those are the llamas. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a field for them. Uh, that should be under... Here it is. Standard pasture. I think I start with 10? I'm not sure. I'm gonna build that big of a pasture, maybe that'll be good. I th it's okay if there's an extra, I guess they'll just slaughter them early. Alright. So, how much food do we start out with? 1700 potatoes. Okay. We start with coats. That's the good thing about, I guess, starting with llamas is I think llamas give fur? Or wool? It's probably wool, actually. Because that's what they give in real life. So. Hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, warm clothes right from the beginning, that'll be nice. Everyone's toying away, let's bump up the speed. So everyone, almost everyone's no longer homeless. And we got, okay, yeah. It's 
lower the speed and let's get some harvesting going. Now, of course, right for right now, I'm just going to do some chops, some collections. We do need a woodcutter, otherwise everyone's going to freeze to death, even though it's still spring. It looks like it's uh, 51 degrees. I guess that's kind of cold. People always complain. Let's get a nice woodcutter, actually. Yeah, yeah, normal woodcutter is fine. I'm put them right over here. I don't think the llamas will run away if I don't get this pasture right away. But I'm not really sure. It would be really unfortunate if they just, you know, vanished. Also, I believe I start with some seeds, so I can start farming really soon. Um, let's see, with that in mind, where would I want fields to be? I think I'll make this area more dockyards, because there's, um, there's these special dock buildings, which are really nice, actually. There's, like, you can extend a dock all the way out and then build a fishery dock, and it just gets way more yields than this. That's what I'll do later on. I'll probably just remove this. So I think I'll have most of the dockyard stuff over here. You know, the traders, all that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, yes, you want some fishermen. Let's go ahead and add a couple. Don't need as many builders now. Hopefully the fish will keep everyone fed for a little while. Along with the starting potatoes. Oh, whoops, there's not very many left. Because everyone's stealing them all. Everyone's greedy. People are. S no, I think they just started with children. I'm not sure if anyone's made new children. But hopefully soon, some of these people will have more children like these ones. Ah, yes, this nice pair of 18 year olds. Mariki and Verene. You need to have babies soon. Alright, llamas. 8 of 10. Ah, oh, perfect. I did it the right size. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and get someone to work there too. I've heard the llamas in there. Alright. Now, we need one more job for the woodcutter, which will be fine. Why don't we start getting and looking at a forester? Where might I want to put that? This is pretty dense. This is really dense too, and if I expand out this way and south, I think it'll be okay to put it all up here, which is what I'm going to do. The only thing is, later on I think mines will go easier here. Um, doesn't look like there's really much in the way of hills over here. There's a little bit over here, but uh, eh, concerns for later, let's be honest. Alright, so, Forester's Lodge. Put it, actually, why don't we preemptively put it a little further away? Put that there. And let's go on ahead and get a Hunter's Cabin. Go with it. And a Gatherer's Hut. Like this. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just run it right through here. And I did accidentally build that house in the wrong spot. Okay. I'm gonna demolish that house later. That's okay. Um, let's see. I'm also going to put down some stockpiles over here. So they don't have to go as far away. Although, actually, don't do it yet. Can't pause it. I'll just remove it. Because I want all of the stuff that they're going to clear for this to go to the regular area. The other thing I'm going to want over here is a storage barn. Uh, where are those storage 
barn. Actually, I'll do a small barn. And this is so that later on, once they have a marketplace, uh, the merchant, or the vendors, whatever they're called, will just come and gather whatever is gathered here from the hunting cabin and the gatherer's hut. Yes, now that'll, that'll take a while. Um, and I actually want this done first, so let's increase the priority. Because they're freezing, and I don't want anyone to freeze to death. That would not be good. Let's see, how's the fisher doing? Oh, wrong button. Alright, that's that's not very good. That's like one person's worth of food. I think it's 150 to 200 food per person. It's not very much, that's for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and bump up the speed. We're not low on any resources, so it looks like it's just, yep, yeah, it's just working a little labor. Ooh, two children have been born. Excellent. Pretty soon we're going to need to make new houses. Ah, oh, perfect. A woodcutter. Go, go, go. Now, a lot of this has got to get cleared away, which, the reason why I also built it a little further towards the rocks is because I'm going to eventually want all these rocks cleared anyway. So that way there's going to just be more trees. Reserve of food is low. That is not good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get more of these guys. Um, we probably should start looking at farming, although it's already summer. Uh, yeah. If I do it right here, a small little field, I think I can get one person going. Maybe that'll be okay. So let's do that. I should have started that earlier. Oh well. I believe... 11... by 15... Um, oh no, wait. 11 by 11, I believe. It's the optimal size for... I don't know, whatever. It, it'll be good. Uh, one tree to remove. Alright. That should be quick. It's not even a very big tree do this right now. Right away, please. You just got one little baby tree to chop down. You can do it. Someone can do it. There you go. Alright. Let's get... Ah, our seed is watermelons. Alright, we're gonna live off of watermelons, everyone. Perfect. Hopefully, we won't starve to death. That is, after all, the goal. Okay, this area has been cleared for these guys, it's good, but it still needs all of the raw resources. It'll take a little while for them to build it, actually. I mean, because it looks like it wants 12 people total to actually do it, and we've only got two working on it. Stone and wood is low, huh? Well, oh yeah, it's mainly firewood that's in there. Okay. We can uh, we can chop chop some trees. Let's chop these trees. Yeah, you're out of wood now. That's okay. You'll get more wood soon. All right. How is this going with food now? So over the entire year since it's been built, 700-ish. That's okay. We're still. I don't know, always low on food is what I feel like the problem is. Okay, for now I'm not going to actually work the Forester's Lodge. And... I, I guess I'll put someone in the Hunter's Cabin? But yeah, for now we're just going to manually chop trees. I just mainly wanted that to get built. So if food is low, oof. Okay, we've reached our limit on firewood, that's good, so they won't freeze to death, but we are pretty low on the food. Did any of these get harvested? Did they make anything? I uh, don't think so. That's okay. I believe that since it's winter, that farmer will work as a laborer. He won't just be sitting about twiddling his thumb. Yes, reserve food is low. Okay, why don't we go ahead and harvest wild foods? There looks to be some around in this area. I don't know how fast these regrow, but we don't want anyone to starve right now. That would be pretty bad. Has this produced anything? 
wool yes okay so it'll mix we'll have a slow supply of wool coats means people won't be as cold I don't think they start with wool coats pause and get a look at you clothing fair okay I, I don't really know what is what are I mean, they started with iron coats and hide coats in here. Iron coats. <laughs> armor! Everyone starts with iron armor. So I'm not entirely sure what the clothing level is. Alright, if you guys are hungry, why don't you just hunt these right here? It's right there. It's good to hunt. Alright, we've got... We've got food. It's fine. It's not low. No one's gonna... No one's gonna starve. Right, let's go ahead and get one person going here. And I'm assuming that there's no stone. Yes, that's the problem. Okay. Collect stone and I guess iron ore because we'll need it for tools. So the other thing we need to watch out is our tool consumption. Also, it's a new year, so what I always like to do is build a couple more homes during the new year. Start it there because that does need to move down one anyway. So I'll start with just two. I don't really want the population to explode that much. I'll start with that going down. I think I should prioritize the gatherer's hut and the barn though. Mainly because I mean, yeah, there's there's some people that could be moving out. Looks like mainly females. So yeah, it's not that big of a priority right now. Hopefully, yes. He's planting those watermelons. Alright, well, I will put a cut in here. Thank you for watching the first episode of me playing Banished Colonial Charters mod. See you next time.